hello dear subscribers and viewers today we have the message that we need to discuss together and that is about salvation and we base on second birth or being born again which is necessary for every christian we are not saved because we subscribe to certain denomination or certain belief or accepting the, the mere truth in the bible as the truth does not make us to be christian but uh, we, uh, we become uh, sons and daughters of God so that we can help the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is not end by actions, but by birth. So let us read it from the Bible. The book of John chapter 3 verse 1 is when we are going to start. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou dost, except God be with him. So we see Nicodemus coming to Jesus Christ asking, asking for a certain thing that he thought he needed, because he had seen Jesus Christ performing miracles. And he needed to, to, to get something from Jesus. He saw him as a person who was different from other men and teachers and Pharisees. He had power. He had grace. He had love. He was different. So Nicodemus decided to humble himself to go, at least at night, to see Jesus. He started with the compliment, compliment so that he can gain the chance to talk to Jesus. Because if somebody needs something from you, compliments is just like necessary because it opens the door for discussion. Verse 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus went straight to the point. Jesus is able to lead, to read the hearts. So, he knew what was needed in, in Nicodemus' life. He knew that Nicodemus needed the life, needed the kingdom of God. Though he did not understand it clearly, I mean this, Nicodemus did not understand what was his need. But he sensed that he needed something from God. And Jesus was able to read that what Nicodemus needed was the kingdom of God. And so he gave him an answer, straight answer, that you need to be born again. So, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That was a straight answer. But it has found, what does this mean? Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born, born when he is old? Can he enter into second enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5. Jesus answered, Say, Verily, verily I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Nicodemus has to ask this question so that to make it clear because he was a Jew. So you needed to get it clear. Even I am a Jew, I need to be born again. But Jesus Christ said, that's not about it being a Jew. It's being born of the Spirit and of water. So being a Christian by subscribing to the denomination, or being born by a Christian mother, or Christian father, or Adventist father, or mother, or being a th- three generation of Adventists, but uh, not being born again, it won't save you. Salvation is the secret Jesus Christ explained. So, my friend, we better learn and ask the Holy Spirit to help us so that we can get the kingdom of God in an easier way. Because we need to be born of the Spirit. If we are not born of the Spirit, we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Entering the kingdom of God does not mean that you cannot go to heaven. No, it's more than that. I don't say it's not about entering to heaven, but it's more than that. 
the kingdom of God starts here. You must enter into the kingdom of God while living. And then you will be translated. That's why it is said that the one who believes in Jesus, it is written, by the way, and Jesus Christ himself said this word, these words that a person who believes in me will not die. So if you believe in Jesus, it means you have entered into the, G- the kingdom. If you have born, been born of the spirit, it means you enter into the kingdom. You live. Eternal life, you get it while you have Jesus. What will happen is just a continuation. And what will be transformed is just a board of sin. But your spirit will remain the same. That's why you need to be born of the spirit. To renew your spirit. If your spirit is not reborn, what will happen? You will not have eternal life. You will die and you will have eternal death. Because life cannot come into the first birth. It needs the second birth. Okay? Verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is the flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. When we are born by our mothers, what is born is the flesh. We are controlled by the flesh. We lead under the influence of the flesh. We may have good behavior because of the nature and the environment and what we have been brought up and kind of parent we have. But having good behavior or good character does not make us be Christian. What we need is to be born of the spirit. Which is born of the flesh is the flesh. And which is born of the spirit, the spirit. Therefore, the flesh bears the flesh. So if you live in the flesh, means you're born with the, uh, with the flesh by your mother and your father. But if you need to live by the spirit, you need to be born by the spirit. The, the one to, be, to, to bear you the second time is the spirit. So you need the Holy Spirit to, uh, to make you be born again. Okay? Let us read. Marvel not that verse seven. Marvel not that I say unto thee that you must be born again. He said that you should not. You should not marvel because of I have said that you need to be born again. The wind blows where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound, therefore uh, thereof, but canst not tell where it comes and where it goes. So it it is everyone that is born of the spirit. Therefore, the, the birth of the Spirit is not like something you can explain mechanically. It's not mechanical. It is seen. The evidence is seen. That's what Jesus Christ is, is speaking in verse 8. The evidence is seen, but you cannot see the mechanical way. You cannot see the steps. You cannot see the process. You will see the evidence, but how it is done, you cannot tell. That's why we need to be born of the Spirit. But you are going to, st- to study today how can you be born again of the Spirit if you are not sure. Maybe next time if I get a time, by God's grace, we shall see how to tell if you are not born of the Spirit. Though it is His, the fruit of the Spirit shows, but the love of God shows. Maybe we shall have uh, more explanation about the sign that you are being born again. But how to be born again, it's, it's done by the Spirit. If you are being born again and you are not sure, you may start this and apply it. Okay? So, you nothing to lose if you apply what I'm about to speak and from the Bible to be sure that you are born again. Verse 9 says, Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Although a master of Israel and knowest not these things, verse 11, Verily I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you heavenly things? That's why he cannot, it was, it was difficult for Nicodemus to understand heavenly things. Because it was not being, uh, it was not born again. That's what you said, said if you are, born, you are not born of the Spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot understand the things of God. You need to, understand, to be born again so that you can understand even, even the things. So Jesus Christ used earthly things so that he can convey the message of the heaven things to Nicodemus. But it was difficult even that for Nicodemus to understand. 
Verse 13, Jesus said, And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. So, Jesus Christ is the one who came from heaven. So, we better listen to Jesus than any other person. Jesus is the finality of everything. Because no, but all things, all prophets came from this world. Though they had the Holy Spirit, though they were moved by the Holy Spirit, but they were from this world. But Jesus Christ is the finality because he's the one who came from heaven. He's the one who created us. He's the finality. is Alpha and Omega. Jesus Christ is everything. So we better listen to him because he's an authority. He's life himself. Okay? Because the word of Jesus is life. Verse 14 says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Here is when the second birth state takes place. When Jesus Christ is lifted up, and your eyes uh, get to see him on the cross, I don't mean to imagine like uh, seeing a movie. That's not what it means to look. To look, you don't look by your eyes. You look by your spirit. You look by your mind. You look to find the essence of the death of Jesus. You look to him and uh, you see that he died for you. As you keep looking to Jesus and then you see him and then you humble and you accept him that, uh, that he is your savior, and sin bearers and sin bearer then you can you give up yourself then you'll be born again you can't do it it's just you to see if you look you will live if you believe you will live actually it's none of your business the time when you'll be born again it's you to look to jesus actually the birth the second birth comes from the holy spirit you need faith to behold jesus you need yourself to surrender all your ways to him because you ca God cannot control the one who controls himself. You need to focus on Jesus and to love him. But to love him, how can you love him? Let me, let me make it clear. You need to see what Jesus da did on the cross for you. As you keep studying the Bible and focusing on Jesus and asking to know him, to love him, to get acquainted with him, then the Holy Spirit will bear you the second time. It's just a one thing to be done. And if that is done, it means you have eternal life. Being born again does not mean that you are completely holy and you won't do anything stupid. No, you can do some of the things which are not right. But you need the, uh, but you will have eternal life. That's the best thing. Being born again doesn't mean that you won't have quarrels and hunger and anger. You will add that if you, you, you don't give up everything and you don't, lead, you don't surrender under the control of God. But soon you will leave anger, soon you leave quarrels, soon you leave all other things because just a growth and you walk in, in Jesus Christ. So what I tell what I will tell you, if you are born again, it means you have eternal life and you are the son of the kingdom. And therefore, even angels or even beings which visit this world will come close to you and give you information, knowledge about God and about Jesus Christ. So surrender your life to Jesus today. Seek him. Take the Bible to study more to find Jesus. I don't want to tell you that read the certain book or this book. This is the word of God completely. So let the Holy Spirit lead you. But your focus should be to see Jesus. Your focus should not be having a good behavior. Because you get disappointed. Because you, nothing good dwells in you. So what to do is to focus on Jesus. Then the Holy Spirit will do the business of transforming you, becoming the Son of God. But only that will happen when you behold Jesus and when you accept him. My friend, the life eternal is just present before you the grace of god has been given for everybody to be saved 
but it's your choice. If you choose to accept him, he will save you. But if you choose to focus on your ways and focus on your religion, you will not be saved. My friend, the first thing you need is to be born again. That is the better than any other things. Other things will follow. But you understand all other doctrines better if you are saved or if you are born again. But if you are not born again, all other doctrine will make you be a hardy Christian, uh, the Christian who has no grace and the Christian who does, know, not, does not know Jesus. So it's better to be born again because that one will help you, make you a good Christian, not for your glory, but for the glory of Lord. But if you become a Christian by your ways and doing what is right, you will be a Christian for your glory, but not for the glory of Jesus. You better understand this one. May God bless you. I'll take time to start the word of God. Subscribe, comment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.